Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in crypto and bring them out in bite-sized pieces. So today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to revisit uh, the video that we did where we talked about how to stake Theta. And because of Theta Mainnet's uh, 3.0 launch, which was just done on June 30th, which was uh, two days ago, or three days ago, today is uh, July 3rd, 2021, I want to just revisit and talk about a couple of things. First, we want to talk about uh, Theta and exactly uh, what it is. Then I want to talk about uh, why it's so important. And we're going to see uh, that through the Google data center and how massive those are. Then we're going to take a look at uh, the node limits and uh, what it actually is as far as the basic requirements, what you could actually expect as far as rewards. And then we're going to go do a walkthrough as far as the staking process. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to talk about Theta and what exactly uh, that is. So, so Theta is a cryptocurrency and blockchain project. And it is one of my holds, one of my favorite holds, and I think it's going to do very well. And really what it comes down to is this. And it kind of gets summed up here by Steve Chen, the co-founder of YouTube. And he states, Theta's innovation is set to disrupt today's online video industry, much in the same way that the YouTube platform did to traditional video in 2005. One of our biggest challenges, I'm going to read this again. One of our biggest challenges had been the high costs of delivering video to various parts of the world. And this problem is only getting bigger with HD, 4K, and higher quality video streams. So this is why I'm kind of, well, I'm really bullish on Theta and what it's gonna do uh, in the near future. Now, I can't predict uh, anything as far as like, uh, is Theta gonna blow up tomorrow? And is it gonna be, uh, you know, $50 on August 3rd? No, but I can tell you that what are you doing right now? You're watching this video and a lot of people are working from home and that takes bandwidth. A lot of people are uploading video and that takes bandwidth. And a lot of people are doing a lot of things with streaming service and that takes a lot of bandwidth. And how it all works with Theta is that they're going to have people download a node, which we're going to do today. And it has them stake their T fuel or the Theta. We're going to stake our T fuel and it allows people to uh, cache their different streams in these points or in these nodes so it can free up a lot of resources. And uh, Steve Chen, who co-founder of YouTube, can continue to run YouTube and all these different uh, streaming platforms. And uh, they can actually give this 4K and HD types of things without creating a bunch of data centers uh, with massive amounts of uh, money and electricity and everything else that is just uh, super duper expensive. Instead of doing that, they're just going to use nodes in a decentralized way, nodes that I'm going to put on, maybe you're going to put on, and the thousands of different nodes that are located throughout the world, and they're going to cache all these different streams. It makes it a lot easier. And of course, for that, you're going to earn T fuel and theta. So uh, just to go back real quick, if we're taking a look at uh, the network stats, here's the networks or nodes or edge nodes, guardian nodes and enterprise validator nodes. Now, if you'll notice one thing, there's a lot of different nodes yeah, throughout the throughout the globe right here, right? Looks pretty good. Why is there only 16 enterprise validator nodes? And the reason is, is because those validator nodes, they have like a million theta. And those are the ones like our Google, Sony, Samsung, CAA, which is all the different uh, uh, Hollywood types that they have under management, all the different movie stars and, uh, and uh, video uh, or music uh, celebrities uh, that are out there. Binance, Blockchain, Gumi, and a private equity institutional group. Nice. So uh, there is just that part. <clears throat> and then, of course, We've got guardian nodes, which are people who stake their theta, which is fine, and that secures a network. And there's the edge nodes, which is all for uh, just to uh, cache all these streaming services so that they don't have to build these massive data centers. So why is this so important? Well, it's because they're going to save a ton of money on these data centers. And when I talk about this, and I think it's important that you actually take a look at what these Google data centers actually are and how big they are. And when I show you this video, I want you to think about real quick is how much it would cost to build these data points, these servers and everything else. Just think about it, how much this would cost and then to actually operate it. We're gonna go through the first 20 seconds of this video, and then we're gonna fast forward all the way to two minutes and 50 seconds so you can see the actual grand scale of what is going on. Then you're gonna say, okay, that makes sense to use Theta. So take a listen. A data center is the brains of the internet, the engine of the internet. It is a giant building with a lot of power, a lot of cooling, and a lot of computers. It's row upon row upon row of machines, all working together to provide the services that make Google function. OK, 
Okay, so right there. So if you're a business, do you want to spend millions and millions and millions upon dollars just to run these data centers so you can cache all the different videos that are being uploaded into YouTube and whatever type of streaming service that you have? No, that's super duper expensive. Why wouldn't you just pay a little bit more and just have everybody in their computers just pretty much cache all these things and be a distributed, uh, decentralized uh, type of uh, data center like we have right here. And that can be done right now with the power of the internet and blockchain. So this is why Theta is needed. And another thing that I, I'm bullish on uh, Theta is that they're not working in uh, to fight uh, YouTube or to try to wrestle uh, this, this control. They're working in conjunction with them. They have Theta TV, which is a streaming service for videos. I'm actually on there, but they do a lot of these things right here, which could help them. And that's why Google is one of their partners. That's why Steve Chen is so excited about it. So I think this is a pretty good project. So let's uh, let's fast forward to about uh, two minutes and uh, 50 seconds, and just take a look at the grand scale of what is going on here, uh, as far as these, uh, these uh, massive data centers. Fahrenheit. Google runs our data centers warmer than most because it helps with the efficiency. You'll notice that we have overhead power distribution. Coming from the outside yard, we bring in the high voltage power, distribute across the bus bars to all... Okay, now it gets boring. So anyhow, that is essentially what you're looking at. That's the grand scale <clears throat> that you'd have to deal with to just to keep up with the demand for streaming services. So when you take a look at Theta, you're like, this is a godsend. This looks uh, pretty good and I think we should get into it. So let's talk about node limits as far as like when we want to actually stake our T fuel or our Theta. And just uh, real quick, Theta is the governance token. That is what secure. That is uh, what was used for you know for to uh, for the entire network. And then T fuel. Think of it kind of like the currency of the Theta network. That is what uh, uh, people like me get paid in. You can actually uh, pay for your or uh, tip your favorite creators on Theta.tv. So T fuel is kind of like the currency, and uh, Theta is just the governance token. So that is what it all is. So let's take a look at the limits. And if you can see right here. At this time, and remember, this is July 3rd, 2021, so things may change, so always check back. It says, at this time, there is a minimum of 10,000 T-Fuel and a maximum of 500,000 T-Fuel that can be staked to each edge node. And remember, uh, this one is just about, we're just going to deal with the edge node. For the Guardian node, if you want to stake uh, your Theta on that, it's uh, the minimum is a thousand. I think the maximum, I think is, uh, gosh, up to, I guess, 500,000. But if you have that, uh, I think you're okay. So minimum is a thousand for Theta. But for this one, for the edge node, which is where you get paid in T-Fuel, the minimum is 10,000 T-Fuel. And right now, uh, the price of T-Fuel uh, is around 46 cents uh, per T-Fuel. So you're looking at around five grand uh, just to start staking, unless you've already uh, done this before. So the next question then is, well, if I'm going to have all this T fuel, I'm going to start staking, which I think is a good idea. That's just that's just me. Is uh, what are the kind of rewards that I could potentially have when I'm doing all these things? So that's a great question. There is a great website called ThetaBoard.io, and it starts off here. This is you know great stuff. Oh, T fuel is 37 cents. Excuse me. So as you go down here. You can put in how much T fuel you have. Let's say you have a thousand. So uh, per day, let me blow this up so you can see what I'm looking at. So we've got a thousand, and that means that per day uh, you can make uh, 0.34 T fuel per month. That's about 10 T fuel, which is like three or four bucks. And then per year, forty-six dollars, and that's at just. 1,000 uh, T fuel, and then over here is the Guardian node parts. So for uh, 1,000 Theta per day is a dollar per month is uh, like 11 bucks, and per year 379. Uh, excuse me, 379 T fuel. So it depends on what you want to do, and then of course you can get this. Now here's the thing. Right now, July 3rd, 2021, it's not that much for what you are actually gaining in. But as time moves on, I don't expect the price of T-Fuel to stay the exact same, especially as this network really increases, because I think that Theta is going to be in high demand. So maybe uh, in the future, we could see a T-Fuel at uh, $2. So that would mean like if you just had a thousand, and it was two dollars and you put ten dollars in let me do some quick math that's like 20 bucks a month for doing absolutely nothing not too bad 
And then, you know, per year, 124. So you're looking at like 250 bucks per year just for doing absolutely nothing. And that's only at a thousand T fuel. Let's take a, let's, let's kick it up a notch, right? Let's take a, let's do 10,000. And over here in Guardian Notes, let's do, oh, wow. Yeah, 10,000. So what do we have here? So 10,000, now we're looking at, now we're looking at good stuff. So we're looking at a, about a dollar a day. Uh, per month, 38 bucks for doing nothing. Per year, $467. For uh, the uh, Guardian node, you're looking at $10 per day or 116 bucks per month or per year, $1,400. And again, this is only at uh, the present cost of like 30 cents. Let's say it's, I mean, man, can you imagine if it's $2 per month, you make uh, 200 bucks. Then per year, 2,500 bucks just for doing nothing. So that is how it all uh, lays out as far as uh, the rewards you could potentially get. Now, this is not 100% accurate. This is all about how much when you actually download the nodes and you're able to keep your computer up and running at 100% of the time and online, uh, that's uh, pretty important. So uh, just make sure you are aware of that. So coming back, let's take a look then at how to actually uh, do this because I think that's the most important part. So let's take a look at how to actually stake it. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to go to, actually, we're going to go here to thetatoken.org. And there will be a link in the description. And you just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And it says you can theta, download the Theta Guardian node or the Theta Edge node. For me, to make this simple today, I'm going to download it for my Mac. So I'm going to click on Download for Mac. This is gonna come up and it's gonna say, okay, do you want this Theta Edge node? Yes, and I'm gonna save this to my desktop to make it super simple. And then I'm gonna to go to my desktop real quick. I'm gonna double click that file. It's gonna open everything up. And then for a Mac, it's gonna look a little bit different. It just wants me to put this in my application. So I'm just gonna drag it over here. On a PC, it's gonna look a little bit different, but you're gonna save it somewhere and then it's gonna be dropped in. And now depending on where you saved it, you would just open up your Theta Edge node. Okay, so we've opened up the uh, Theta Edge Node beta application. And just so you know, like uh, the wallet over here, this is the wallet for this Edge Node right here. But we already have, or you may already have uh, your wallet, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. And then there's a couple things on the on left-hand side. You can watch, where if you click on that, you can watch the different uh, streams on Theta, or you can just go to theta.tv, it's the same thing. Uh, you can broadcast from here if you have a stream key go right ahead and then there's uh, different jobs which i'm not sure about this one but it looks like you can uh gain t fuel just by uh edge caching and it says cash jobs will be started as soon as they are assigned edge compute compute jobs will be started as soon as they are assigned but the one that we're looking at is stake t fuel so this right here this edge node holder this summary we're going to select all this and we're going to copy it and then we're gonna click on that X in the upper right hand corner. And what we need to do now is go back to our uh, wallet, which you should already have a wallet uh, in place. If you don't, you can use the wallet right here and transfer all your uh, T fuel if you wanted to. But I already have uh, my own wallet that I created a long time ago. Uh, we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, let's just jump over there. So here I am at my wallet and I'll uh, put a link in the description for not my wallet, but uh, how to get there. It's really actually easy. If you go to uh, the thetatoken.org, the same one, up on the very top, it says uh, network news team roadmap docs wallet. If you just click on that, it'll take you to actually create a wallet. This is mine. So it says uh, the keystone and the wallet and the password. I'm gonna put those in right now. I'm gonna stop this video for a second so you don't see that would not be good. And I'll uh, jump right back. So now here I am, and of course your wallet has your uh, Theta and T fuel. You can send, receive it. What we want to do is hover over the stakes, which you can see that right here. It says stakes, and what we want to do is we want to uh, deposit a stake or withdraw a stake. We're going to deposit a stake, and we're going to send it somewhere. Not send it somewhere, but we're going to sign it because it's because your your Theta or your T fuel that you have, it's not going to leave your wallet. You're just going to sign it to a node, and that's going to be your node. So let's see, edge validators, guardians, and then delegated guardian node. Just so you know, if you don't want to deal with all this, you can click on delegated guardian node and just pick somebody and then go from that. And again, I, I like it because like in Ethereum 2.0, you have to send it to, to somewhere else. But in this one, you don't really do that. It actually stays uh, in your wallet. And just to be sure, let me jump over here. This is a, a medium post from Theta itself. And it states, uh, like all Theta staking, there is no risk to your tokens because stake tokens 
can only ever be returned to the staker's wallet, regardless of whether a node fails, is compromised, or any other issue. So essentially, uh, you control your stake Theta to tokens. They don't leave anywhere. So that's what I like about uh, Theta itself. So uh, I'm gonna go, let me go back real quick. So we're gonna click on Edge node. We're gonna click Continue. And remember that uh, Edge node holder summary, that big long hash where it was like uh, just a bunch of uh, letters and numbers and things like that. We're gonna paste that uh, in there, B, and it's gonna say, enter the amount to stake. Remember that the minimum uh, is uh, 10,000. So I'll just put in 10,000, makes a lot of sense, right? And I'm gonna deposit the stake to uh, that node, click right there, boink. And then, okay, it's gonna ask us, is this what you really wanna do? So I always take a look at the first parts here and then the last part just to line them up, 0x65c, then the last one, uh, 5931. So let's double check just to make sure. So here we are, 0x65c, 5931. So everything matches up, let's jump back. And the transaction fee is pretty cheap, 0.32 fuel, not too bad. Enter the wallet password, I will put that in right now. And I'm gonna click on confirm and deposit stake. And it states your transaction is now being processed. So it may take a little bit of time, but then it should go into the node. So that was pretty quick. Actually, in like uh, 10 seconds, it came up. And it says here, uh, node type, lead edge. Here's the holder, blah, blah, blah. Amount 10,000 has not been uh, withdrawn from here. Let's go jump over to our actual node, which is on the computer or on my Mac and see if that actually uh, matches up. So yeah, it looks like we are set. Uh, looks like uh, the block is there, uh, stake 10,000, available balance. But see right here, it says submitting proof of uptime. Just so you know, with these edge nodes, uh, for you actually to gain the maximum amount, you have to have your computer on and up and running. That's the whole point of uh, the Theta network because there, people are caching their streaming services or their data uh, in your node so that uh, it can actually be there for when it is actually needed. And that's the whole point of not having a data center. We just have these decentralized nodes such as a Theta Edge node, and that's pretty much it. Now look, you can do this the same way for the Guardian node if you wanna actually stake your Theta. But for me, I'm just gonna use this for the Edge node and just go from there. So uh, that is it for uh, the video. Hope this helps out. Let me know how it goes. I've done this before in the past personally, and uh, I've used the same service. And for some reason, uh, this edge node would not stay up or it wouldn't download an update and it just seemed like it never would work. So I am hopeful this actually works uh, from what I understand. Uh, they've uh, uh, eliminated some of the kinks for Mac users. Hopefully it works for everybody, uh, but we'll see. So anyhow, let me know if uh, that helped you out. Uh, but that is it for today. So first of all, thanks for sticking with me all the way at the very end. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video and you found value, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Also consider subscribing. And that is it for today. So thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.